everyone, so today I want to capture some of that joy of travel, trying new foods. Today is the 460th or so day under lockdown. I want to recreate some of uh, the flavors of our travels. So I'm going to try to make Austrian potato salad and Slovenian chavat chacha. It's going to be fun. Let's see what happens. Now you can start this recipe with minced meat, about two parts beef to one part pork, though you can play around with the ratios in different meats. I'm going to be grinding some leftover brisket into a medium mince. I'm starting out with the onions, instead of dicing them finely, I decided to just mince them in with the meat. Now the secret to really easy mincing is to make sure your meat is as frozen as possible. You want to be able to cut the meat into chunks to put in the mixer, but you don't want them any less than semi-frozen so they go through the mincing process easily. The seasoning for Slovenian Cevapcici is really simple. Besides onion and garlic, you will need some black pepper, freshly ground. You'll need some salt, just a little bit, some paprika, interestingly baking soda and I think this is what helps the skinless sausages really hold together well. You're going to need to peel your garlic and then mince it. I'm just using a garlic press to make things really easy. Now it's time to assemble everything together. Add your garlic and your spices and some egg white and just stir. Mince meat, spices, onion and garlic, egg white, that's all. And then it is simply time to shape and fry your chavapcha. So I'm using a cast iron skillet and I'm taking a little ball of the mince meat mixture and I'm rolling it into a sausage. You can simply roll it on your cutting board and there you go, there's your sausage. It fries up so easily. No skin needed, which is great because some of us want to make sausages and it can be pretty hard to find sausage skins and maybe a pain to kind of fill them and wash them and all that. So quick mincemeat sausages, very delicious and really fun to make as well. Make sure that you brown them nicely on all sides. A little bit of spice goes a long way. And there you go, Slovenian sausages called Chavavcici. As a side dish, I'm going to be making Austrian potato salad. We tried this in Vienna, it was wonderful and you want to make it a little bit ahead of time so that the potatoes really have time to soak in the flavor of the broth. I don't really measure anything but this is how I made it following some recipes I found online. You want a couple of potatoes, I'm using non-starchy yellow waxy potatoes and I'm slicing them. I'm going to be putting them in a pot of water to boil until they're cooked. Not overly soft but still firm enough. You want to boil them with a bit of salt and then drain them and put them in a heat proof container like a glass container. They're going to be soaking in a very special broth mixture. In a saucepan over medium heat, I'm bringing beef broth, Dijon mustard, white vinegar, and caramelized onions to a boil. I don't usually measure any of these, but I go by taste. And I poured it over the potatoes and added the chives, and that's all. It's going to sit in the fridge for a couple of hours until it's time to serve with the Chavapchichi and with some of the roasted bell peppers. 
Foods like this are really hearty and they bring back memories of traveling. Yesteryear, we haven't traveled in quite a while. Here's to more travel and adventure in 2022 and beyond. Bye!